to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a room tour for you guys I hope you understood that if you can understand James Charles you can understand me right now I don't know why I'm talking so fast yeah today we're doing a room tour I just thought that I would take you guys around I'm a little bit content with how it is right now I know behind me is really boring but in front of me is pretty decent I get quite a few questions on my wall so I thought I would take you guys through that I'm not going to show you like every single detail because I feel like that's a little bit boring so I'll try to make it as non-rambly as possible even though I know 100% I'm a rambler. So let's get started. Okay, so we walk into the room and this is it. It is actually quite a small room and I've done what I can. <laughs> so let's take a walk through. So on this side, it's just a wall. I have a really big mirror because obviously if you follow me on Instagram, we just know I am a selfie, Instagram, story, posting, fiend. So a big mirror was really an essential for me. I love doing outfit of the days. Uh, my dad actually got this for me from his work. It's not a store, unfortunately. It is just like a mirror manufacturer. There you go. <laughs> so it came straight from a factory. It is not a store, but that really came in clutch. So sorry about that, but that is what we have here. It's quite large. Over here, we have the IKEA classic dresser. Couldn't even tell you what it's called, but it's the one that everyone has. Um, honestly, it used to be side by side and it was just way too big for my room and we stacked them, which is not safe, but we drilled them together and it's also drilled to the wall. Up top, we put my TV. I know it doesn't really make sense in position to like where the bed is, but um, yeah, I needed to put it somewhere out of the way and all of the actual like cable outlets and stuff are just back there And so that's where the TV went because it was the easiest and most convenient in my top drawer I just have like journals and it's like my junk drawer underwear and socks and bras What is in here? Oh like sports bras jewelry hats bralettes sunglasses it's very random um, here we have my leggings and pants and here we have shorts and pajamas at the bottom here we just have my lucky bamboo plant and my Nintendo switch hiding behind there I actually rotate what plant goes here based off of like if they're dying or not honestly that's the truth so yeah he's just here one stem has already died so this is the window and then this is my desk right underneath I actually have some flowers from a wedding that I just went to that were in the centerpiece and I literally love flowers so those are just there and they're so pretty. They're literally so pretty. I don't know what kind of rose this is or if all roses do this but I don't think they do but it like opened up so much. Someone tell me because I will definitely repurchase. Obviously because it's corona right now and we're all working from home. This is my desk setup. It used to be much smaller. It just used to be a makeup station, but I am going to be working from home for a while. So we have the setup here. I just have my extra monitor here with my work laptop right here. I have some candles that go with my black and white theme and a little crystal that I thought was pretty. Everything from HomeSense, obviously. Mouse keyboard, another candle, and a mirror. Everything home sense, obviously. So my desk really isn't anything special at all. My dad made me this little base thing at work. He's a welder, so blessed to have him. I couldn't find anything that was really small enough for my space that I thought would be functional for it. So he just kind of made this like by himself. And then after that, I needed the bigger desktop, which is the black part on top. We went to Home Depot and just bought a piece of wood painted it black and did like a really shiny top coat on it like you would do with your nails that's what we did to the desk so now it kind of sits on top of the original um, it just gives me a lot bigger workspace because I was crimped to go with the desk we have the chair I really wanted a black and gold and white and green theme <laughs> green being the plants so the desk doesn't really match at the moment but the chair does and I love it so much it's so like modern and cool it's like this circular shape with clearly this like gold cool bottom I actually just got this from HomeSense it was $150 I think 
and it's really comfortable so I just sit here and work all day. In my desk, I don't really know if you want to see this, it's really messy, I just have like some skincare stuff there. And this box is so dirty from my makeup, but this is what I use to keep my makeup organized. Oh, can't even show you. Okay, so it's a box that I painted gold. It was originally from Michaels, and it had all these cubes in it. And we, like, knocked out some of the dividers so that, like, this would fit my brushes or, like... This would fit eye things. It used to just be all evenly sized squares, but we cut out the pieces of wood, if that makes sense. DIY, guys. I couldn't find what I had in mind, so we make it. <laughs> and then over to this side is like my favorite. Um, this is where my bed is and my favorite wall that everyone always asks about. I'll take you from this side first. So obviously those are the drawers that also match. It's a little side table. It's just more junk, I guess. <laughs> so then the candles from Home Sense, the little elephant on top, so cute, is actually from Thailand. It was from Thailand. Here, this pot was from Home Sense, but the plant inside is actually a money tree, and I got him just at the grocery store. And all you have to do is put two ice cubes in it a week. Literally so easy, and he doesn't like direct, direct sunlight. So it's perfect. I think he might be dying though, and I am not sure, but I'm gonna be really sad if he dies. The lamp goes kind of with the black and gold and white theme. It has a marble base down there, and it's also just from Home Sense. I used to have a queen in here, but I was so claustrophobic, so I downsized to a single bed, which actually works out for the better. It is a day bed, I think it is, so it's supposed to look more like a couch. It doesn't really have like a higher headboard or anything like that. It's from Ikea. I think it was around $500, which was pretty reasonable. At the bottom, I really didn't do a good job making my bed this morning. When it's made nicely, you can see the drawers, and I just bought different knobs to put on it. I think it was $12. The gold knobs just tie in with the gold theme. I think the original ones are like a black or a dark brownie black, which also would have matched, but I thought the gold would be cute, so. Ooh, also, I'm gonna show you this fun thing, so. <laughs> In this drawer, I actually have all of my chargers, so the plug is actually behind my bed, so I ran an extension cord, and then here I keep everything that I need to charge, and all of my tech stuff, and then like my phone is like beside my bed technically because my charger is right here. Yeah, this is just really convenient, so maybe something you might want to consider. My comforter is just a white, and then the pillows on top. The giant furry ones are actually from Urban Barn, something that's not from HomeSense for once, but the black ones obviously also from HomeSense. And yeah, I just like having lots of pillows, so it looks nice and decorated and fancy. I really want another one here, but I just don't know. I haven't found one yet. Then this wall. <laughs> I originally just wanted those like boards that you just squish against the wall that look like brick. It has like a brick print on it or the wallpaper. However, my dad is definitely an overachiever and he was like, let's go find something else. We went to every single home store. We ended up finding these half bricks, but they're made of plaster instead of like a stone, like a real brick would be. So it's not real stone, it's actually made of plaster. Um, and then you do have to apply them to the wall like you would apply like a backsplash of like tiles. So there's glue on the back of them and then we stuck them all down one by one. <laughs> it was a very long and tedious project. And then after that is dry, like another day you go in with grout and you have to go all between and then make it all smooth and then sand it all so it looks nice and finished. Um, this wall alone took all week of doing it like after work. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It is so nice. It makes it feel kind of like a loft vibe. Yeah, that's probably like my favorite part of my whole room. Probably the thing that I get asked the most about, so. In this corner, it's just kind of where I hide things. I have my YSL bag and Balenciaga stuff that like, I want to keep the boxes, but I genuinely have no room for it. My room is so small that I can hardly open my closet door with the bed there, and it's very difficult. And this is a disaster. I have so much stuff in my closet. This is like just bags and accessories alone. I can't even get to my clothes. Um, 
I'm sure you guys have seen my closet before. It's literally white and then black. Um, all the hangers are the same, not the same color, but the same type. Just to like save space, these are the best hangers, the little felt ones, obviously. And yeah, there's like a shelf up there that's some extra stuff, and I hide stuff on this shelf as well. And at the bottom is where I keep my laundry hamper. It's just not there right now. Ideally, this wall would not be empty. I would like to put something. I kind of wanted shelves to display all my bags or like the boxes or something, but it's not realistic because I would not be able to get to my closet at all. So I think some kind of artwork needs to go here eventually. Also in that corner, I would like to have an artwork, but... I just haven't found anything and I'm kind of in no rush so I kind of just buy things as I see them but yeah that is everything that was it for this video guys I hope you liked it I hope you liked my room tour I hope you got a little bit of inspiration in some form or another but yeah that was it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you have any suggestions for my room or anything like that leave them down below I'm always open to suggestions subscribe if you're new turn the post notifications on if it's not already so you get notified next time I upload video and that is about it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.